being a mum is fun and yes your life will completely change but actually I think it changes for the better. First thing on your shopping list? Yeah, pasta. Have fun with children. Yeah. At the, the end of the day, so long as you've had sort of 10 minutes of fun, that'll be what they remember about the day. You know, if you're playing with them, then you're educating them through their play anyway, sitting drawing pictures or doing puzzles or reading books with them. You're spending time with your child and they'll be playing and experimenting and learning and you'll be getting the best out of them. They can have the choices to do whatever they want to do and to have those opportunities that perhaps I maybe didn't have when I was growing up. One thing my dad told me was always be patient and that's what we've learned just having Cameron is just be patient, you know, they're only kids and they'll learn and you just need to kind of make the most of what you've got and have fun and grow up together. We bring our Cameron up on our own, we don't really get much help because we don't have much family around here. I get quite a lot of enjoyment out of seeing Cameron grow up and develop, um, especially when you see him just achieving something he hasn't achieved before and there's lots of milestones and happy memories you can look oh. back. I mean, there's hard memories that take you to each happy memory, but um, it's the most fun actually being a parent. It's the best job you can get. And the reason for that is you take what he learns in the classroom and you apply it to real life. It might be something like numbers in a sum book, but then if you teach him that it's adding money together in the shops to buy lunch or whatever, then he can actually apply that to the classroom. So when he's learning about numbers again in class, he understands that I'll need this in the world because I need to count up, you know, my bus fare or numbers for, for lunch. Am I in goals? Yeah. Right, best of five. I've been a single mother since she was about three years old and it can be challenging oh. and also extremely rewarding being a single parent. Um, money has obviously been a problem when he was uh, when he was younger. You know, with regards to money, um, just to realise that there's so many free things that you can do. Yeah, he's really outdoorsy. He really likes to run and to play football and things like that. Every day he goes to school, he's learning something new, but he comes home at night and we're doing those things together. It just reinforces it for him and just helps him to know that the outside of school you can use these skills as well that he's learned. Um, Kenyon and I reading, writing and counting together. We do that all day, every day. Everything that we're doing from weighing out the ingredients when we're cooking to maybe going and you know playing the football, counting the goals and things like that. That is something that we're doing together and Kenyon's learning from me. In later life, he'll be able to use those skills and build on them. One of the things I've learned is to trust myself. When I first started off, I thought, I didn't, I'd, I've never had a child. I don't know how to do this. What if I get this wrong? Um, but in actual fact, as long as you're trying your best, you're, you're doing the best for your kid.